So your activity for today and for tomorrow is based on an artist called Jackson Pollock. So we are going to be creating some flowers or some trees in two of his styles of art. So I'm going to show you the first style today and I will show you the second style tomorrow. To create this, all you need is some paper and some paint. It can be any paint. So I'm going to show you with ready mix paint and with watercolour paint, but any kind of paint will work for this. If you don't have any paint, then you can have a go at making your own paint with natural inks. So all you need to do is go to your cupboard, you could use paprika, you could use pepper, you could use food colouring, you could use any of the spices in that cupboard, you could use coffee, mix it with a little, little bit of water and then you have got your own natural paint. If you are lucky enough to have flowers in your garden, you could even use the petals from the flowers to mush up and again to add a little bit of water and then you've got coloured inks that you've made naturally. So there's lots of different ways that you can create paint if you don't have any. So please keep watching and I will show you the first Jackson Pollock technique. Happy creating!
Jackson Pollock inspired tree. So all I have done is I've drawn out my tree trunk so it kind of goes straight and then comes out at the bottom and comes out at the top and then I usually do one, two, three lines for my different branches and twigs then I just use some different colour browns to make it look a little bit more like older bark and then just using our cotton buds and dipping them into the different paints and splashing it on I've got different types of coloured blossom so it gives it a really nice textured flower look you don't have to use this kind of paint, you can use watercolour paint as well. I just thought I'd show you that you can use different types of paint to create your tree. I can't wait to see what you come up with.